now i'm going for fifth lesson in fifth lesson we are going to see that how to integrate the work switch functionality and the led functionality so in the lesson one already i told you that we have a buffer which is sound for uh, hc245 which is act as a bidirectional buffer so all your 3.3 volt will be converted into 5 volt for the led here the the buffer we have been connected 8 port port number from p0.122 so it, it is also already mentioned here what are the 8 pins has been connected and port numbers are listed here from this port uh, we have been taken four port for displaying led so uh, whenever you pressing the switch led will be glowing so i am going to load that demo program so it is very easy to understand that our switch functionality and our bidirectional buffer buffer functionality again i am going to load the demo program close the existing project then open the new project so here the program is called switch and led compile it go to the flip utility open the browser this is the hx file for the concern program then load it so after uploading so you forgot about the lcd because the, our previous program was uh, lcd uh, right so the lcd is not refreshed on this case so you can see that all our leds are blinking here yeah that is light is glowing here so when i am going to press the switch so one one, one of the led will be off so you can see that the first led has been off and second so we we written a program to show demo the switch functionality and led functionality so here is a jumper for the switch if you want to isolate the switch you can remove the jumper and here is a jumper for the led if you want to isolate the led you can remove the jumper if you want to isolate the io from the buffer you can remove this jumpers and this jumper is decides that what is the voltage to be operated as a bidirectional bu buffer uh, operating voltage and the direction of the buffer and the pull up resistor we have provided that should be a pull up 3.3 volt or 5 volt so now we have been selected everything on the 3.3 volt because we have been acting as a from the arm controller to output side it is just acting as from arm to output so once again if i am going to press the switch again your led will get go You can see that. So when I am pressing the switch, so this shows our demo that our keypad section and our LED section has been integrated through the port with the ARM microcontroller. Thank you.